Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is my first video and I don't even know how long. But I was gonna post a collection video the other day. I made one, I haven't posted yet because I've got around to uh, editing stuff. So um, yeah, but I got this uh, box right here. It is uh, Resident Evil 2, the GameStop Collector's Edition. That is way too expensive that I really should have, it's way too expensive just for what it is, but Man, they put it back up in stock like two weeks ago, and I could not resist. I was like, I have to get this. I, because I'm so excited for this game. I didn't want to pay the extra shipping though for day one because I was just like, I can't do that. Because it was like eighteen dollars on top of how much it already was. Okay, so we got that. So we got the actual box right here. Kind of small. Resident Evil 2 Collector Edition. Only at GameStop. <laughs> uh, shows what you get on the back. Let's throw this on the floor real quick. So. And it's funny, on the Carver box it says do not sell before January 25th. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Got the actual thing of plastic, which is weird. I wish I could have picked this up at GameStop. For some reason, you could only get it shipped. I don't know why, but all right. Come on, slide out. Come on. There we go. So we got the, uh, you know, like the chest, the restore your items, and Resident Evil. Excuse me, very similar. Pretty much probably exact same model. Pretty cool. Can't lie. Pretty cool box. It even opens up like a... That's that's pretty cool. Like the uh, crate that holds your uh, items, your weapons, and whatnot. Okay. So tape around that. Got that off. Alright, now we're getting the actual box open finally. Jesus Christ. Hopefully this is worth 200 fucking dollars. This is actually pretty nice. This cardboard box can actually like store stuff in here. <clears throat> Actual items. Oh, okay, we got the game, the deluxe edition. Wish they would have like gave like a steel book that, that would have been cool. Promise you're paying for this. Could have been made a steel book game stop, but nope. Even if it was kind of lame, I still would have not hated it. Got the download card. The, oh, the digital soundtrack. I forgot. I don't know why they needed to include that, but okay. Um, they got the map right here of Raccoon City Police Department. Converted museum to reopen in 1969. Front, pretty, pretty nice. And then the back has like the inside of the station, and yeah, there's that. All right, what is this? Oh yeah, I forgot it came with this. This art book. That's pretty neat. I think it's like tips and shit. Yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know, there's no tips. It just says, like, authorization. It, it, that was tips first, but then I, read, I realized that every single page said that. So, yeah, that, that's pretty neat. That, that's, that's pretty nice quality. Can't complain. All right. That's, that's all that. And then now we get to the big mama fucking... Leon statue that hopefully was worth that probably cost the $200 price tag it costs that made it that much it's right here okay Leon has Kennedy come on baby a lot less packaging than the gotta work position which I did unbox on this channel so that's what I'm talking about it's not, oh, shit. 
it's not as big. Well, okay, it, nah, okay, it's bigger. Look, it looks bigger. This is this is the size so far. I haven't got to open it yet. Jesus Christ! Is this how long it take? Oh yeah, it is. <clears throat> tape right there, and some tape right there. Probably nope. That's it. Okay. See if this Leon was worth two hundred freaking dollars. Probably wasn't, but oh well, too late. That's pretty neat. That that's that's really well done. Detail is superb. Uh, look at that. Wrong wrong side of the camera. There we go. That's Leon right there. Got his cuffs, and there's his ass, <laughs> there's his uh, radio, uh, some other cop stuff. Oh, a holster for the gun. Um, yeah, I kind of wish it was poseable because... Oh, that was easy. Um, he, here's his gun, you know. Which, I assume he's supposed to hold like this, maybe. Smells like paint. Yeah, like that. And then his flashlight, like this. I wish the flashlight would actually work. That, that would actually be really cool. And there you go. That's the complete... But the thing is, the thing that sucks about this, though, is you take this gun out of his hand. And then he's a holster here for it. Or is that just a fake? I think that's just a pretend. Yeah, it just, it just looks that one. But yeah, here you got uh, Leon. Let me get this whole this gun back in his hand. Because it's a pain in the ass to get in to begin with. Okay. <clears throat> his gun. And then last, lastly, uh, the actual stand. Which is gigantically big for some fucking reason. This is way too big. I'm sorry. Do not, you could truck it down a little bit, this stand. Okay, so you put them on like this. Okay, he goes in these little spaces like this. Oh, hopefully he holds. He holds it. Yeah, it's pretty well. Okay, there you go. There's Leon in his full form, you know. This is really sick and all, but is it worth 200 fucking dollars? Probably not. You know, I, I, I think this should have cost like 150. I would have been, been a lot happier paying 150 for this or 120 or something like that because that's how much the God of War collection costs and the the figure quality was just as good and actually had about the same amount of shit, if not more. So, I don't know what the fuck's up with that. I don't know if it's GameStop overcharging for their shit, which that's a good chance for that. Or it's, for some reason, that much for whatever reason. I don't know why. But this is a really cool figure, though. So, in the end, it was semi-worth it, but they could definitely get a lot better with this collector. Collector's edition, because this is the only collector's edition in the U.S. Besides the the deluxe, which comes with the collector's edition. So, I wanted to get something special for this game. Because I've actually never played through the entire original. I only played a little bit of it. Because I, I don't really like the tank controls in the regular Resident Evil game. But I love the Resident Evil game, so that doesn't make any sense. But I like the remastered ones, better, as I'm trying to say. And I played this one shot demo and I loved it. So yeah. Um, that's it. That's the unboxing of Leon and all this other shit right here. The art book and but yeah. I don't know. Uh it's sold out everywhere, so even if you'd want to get one of these, you're gonna pay even more than two hundred dollars at this point, which 
is already enough money as it is, but flippers are probably buying them up and selling them for like 400, 500 bucks, if not more. But yeah, anyways, um, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that.